Oh yeah, folks. Um, I had forgot about this one. I had I've been thumbing through my notes. I got notes and workout manuals and my my notes for exercise and stuff. But if you haven't figured it out yet, I am Matt Fremat at the Fremat Podcast. We're usually a libertarian round ta- round table discussion. This time, I am without my usual co-host, the one and only General Patrick Flynn. He's handling all other matters. We still like him. We still think him's awesome. And you know what? Take care of yourself. That's what he would say. Today's discussion, I had put in my notes, and God, I had forgotten about this. Uh, we we kind of get snippety and make fun of Greta Thunberg. You know, how dare you? Um, And it, my notes had said, Greta Thunberg of Thunberg, my Swedish people. The only cool thing to ever come out of Sweden was ABBA, by the way, and Sabaton. Sabaton, good. ABBA rings my bell. Um, Greta Thunberg is not the only exploited child. Conservatives use children, I use that in quotations, for, for uh, excuses for various prohibition. And one of, uh, I can actually close it there because I can go off... Uh, my sentiments and information in my st- in, in you know in my home state somebody always is there's always some punchline about what about the children and here's the thing these people don't parent they have huge communities they don't parent they cry and they want government to do everything for them and the one thing they don't do is talk to their kids they don't talk to other people's kids. You know, that's um, affiliated people they know from the community, people they're close with. And the bad thing is, it's the you know reason why we have restrictive laws and even limited home rule is because people aren't parents. It's the using the boogeyman to seize power. And conservatives in my area do that. Uh, several years ago, they fought against... Uh, Part of the expression, liberalization, or allowing beer over 6% to be sold. And then they fought when we tried to fix the container laws. One of, I think it might have been uh, Irwin. I think he was one of our state senators, state level. And he was the one who said, I, 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 don't quote me on this, but if I can find it, I will. He's the one who's claiming that we were going to have tons of teenagers in ditches when we change a law. The irony is, and it was not correlated, not caused, but there were less teenage deaths at the wheel. And, and there were less teenage bodies in the ditches. And it, it was uneventful. People still have to be parents, though. That's the irony. You fast forward to modern day, we have, we tried to have medical marijuana. And I've heard several people, including, uh, there's a uh, conservative concerned citizens type organization. Uh, They're out of Birmingham. I don't want to say their name uh, because I probably get it wrong. Didn't have in my notes, who cares? But these people, their argument is, well, what about the children? And I was like, they're like, our kids are going to overdose. They're going to kill themselves. I was like, your kids kill themselves with automobiles. And you don't stop automobiles. Slippery slope arguments. But who cares? Slippery slope. Because it's fun to say slippery slope. Awkward arsonist has oddly shaped feet. Anyway, these same clowns, they're, they're not responsible for anything. And they're using it like emotional ploys to, to make you feel bad. They're emotional ploys to make make you want big government. And I say, be a parent. I say, be more responsible in your own life. And that includes being a parent. And yeah, your kids don't have any rights. And I know everybody's like, well, that's what government's for. It's for kids. They don't have rights. And I said, you know what? Be a parent. Your parent, like parents and people around you, responsible adults in your community, have more influence, even bad bad parents, have more influence on kids than the government does. The government does not parent. As much as I would love to think that CPS, no, no, they're not parents. They're not, your local, your local church or even, you know, for the, the non-churched, for the, uh, for the atheist brothers and sisters, the rationalist, 
uh, even a Satanist and non-worshipping types. Local organizations, local systems of belief, communities, people coming together are better at parenting than, and they're better at feeding kids and clothing them than government organizations. Government is for government, not for you. And it's stupidity to think they're going to be parents. Just remember this crap. Now, that's just, uh, that's just like your opinion, man, Lebowski. You know, good job, Lebowski. Anyway, even Lebowski would say, who cares, man? Wait a parent, man. That's what he would say. He's against big government. He just wants to bowl and smoke weed. And you know why you're not able to smoke weed or have a decent medical marijuana initiative? Because in this state, they want the Mamby Pambies. They use the the kids as some emotional hammer to beat the crap out of you and, and, and then get the government to do all. all. Just like mad mothers or as a mothers against drunk driving or as I, I was going to call them damn drunks determined drunks against mad mothers damn but you know what drunk driving is not a real crime sorry libertarians thank you anyway folks um be be a parent don't listen to these people don't let them use emotional ploys to to govern your life you make decisions success and failure are two things that drive you should drive you more than emotional ploys of idiots. There you go. Have a good one. All right. I will hang us up because I've stuttered my way through this one. But I'll, let me see. Notifications. There's a like and uh, do, 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 subscribe over there. Way, way down below. I should have some articles. I think there's Twitter, Gab, Parlay, even though those people piss me off. A piece of crap, or they're not a piece of crap. Their their outfits a piece of crap. And let me see uh, hate mail. And in case you want to uh, email me and tell me how much you love parlor or parlay, ooh parlay. Anyway, have a good one. Remember the non-aggression principle, and uh, please take care of yourself.